has found a little something and he's kind of closed back down on Trex. You see the back of the 19 uh, kind of washing out there a little bit, like maybe the car is, is fading a little bit. Yeah, the Sands right now, the outer blast, his opportunity to get around this 22 is slowly fading away. And while the 22 sort of stalled out here in front of the 19 and 5, of Larson running some of the quicker laps well, on all the top two cars. I'm sorry. And then also, there's you know William Byron. Now he's starting to run Truex down to, to pass him to make himself the first car lap down. So he's he's got a ton of pressure on him right now, Truex does. Dave. And Jeff, remember how William Byron got where the position, the position that he's in, the last run was so bad, lost all that time, all that track position, that's why he didn't remain on the lead lap. This run, better, they've been trying to tell him to stay in rhythm, just hang with it, and Byron's trying to do that, and as you mentioned, coming back on the 19 of Truex. I do believe this is one of the toughest races mentally for a driver, because it's super slippery, you feel like you're going really slow because you just you think you should be able to go way harder. And it's this chaos, a green flag pit stops, so who am I racing? And it's just, there's a lot going on for a driver at a three quarter mile. Go over there to short track, you settle in, you get in a rhythm, you're just trying to run great laps. And we heard Danny Hamlin in the pre-race, I love